Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today's video is about Cisco VLAN command. So in this video, I will be showing you all of the Cisco VLAN commands that we use in the workplace and also how we change VLANs based on tickets or requests. And I will also show you some tools that you can use to make your work easier in doing all of this command. So if you are interested, please keep on watching and without further ado, let's get started with this video. Okay, so in this video, I will not be explaining a lot of details about VLANs. I will not go deep into VLANs, what the different kind of VLANs are. And in this video, I will be just focusing on the application of VLAN commands, how we change VLANs, or the most, that's the, one of the most common tickets or requests that we get when it comes to switching and networking. And I think it's really important for you to have an idea on what it is and how to do it in the workplace. So I will be focusing on that rather than the theory of what a VLAN is. Okay, so I'm just going to give you a quick overview of a VLAN. So VLAN stands for virtual LAN and it's a virtualized connection that groups a subset of devices and isolates the traffic for each group. So if you are going to work on site in IT, IT usually takes care or manage the switch environment in the company and we do a lot of switch configuration, especially VLAN changes and VLAN configurations. So if you have no idea what a VLAN is and how it works, please learn that before watching this video because I am going to show you the application and how we actually use the commands in the workplace. Okay, so the commands that I will be showing you for this video is how to change VLANs and how to verify if you have made the correct change for the VLAN. So to change a VLAN, we need the following we need a switch ip address and the port number in order to configure and run the vlan commands so there are different ways on how we can get the switch ip address and the port number the simplest way to probably do this is to trace the actual cable that the port is connected to to the patch and the switch port inside MDF, for example, but this is not the easiest way because it's hard to trace cables if they are all tangled together. And also, this is not a very accurate way to be doing this because sometimes you can get the wrong cable or you can trace the wrong cable. So to make it easier for us to find the switch IP address and the port number, there are tools that we can use. So there is what we call the Lynx printer, which is an actual tool that you can use that can give you the information that you will need but this one is pricey i think the price for this is like 400 dollars if you want to buy this so some companies don't have this but there's also a tool that is free that is available for windows machine and that is called the link discovery for windows or ld win so this is what our Lynx printer looks like and it has ethernet port where you can plug in the ethernet cable it's very simple to use you want to just grab the ethernet cable from the port where you want to change the vlan and just plug it into the links printer device and press the power button here and it will detect and discover the switch ip address and other information that you need if you don't have the links printer tool you can download link discovery for windows online and it's a free tool and you don't need to install it it's executable and same with the links printer just plug in the ethernet cable from the port where you want to change the vlan from and then then open up ldwin and select your network ethernet and then click on get link data and it should display the switch information Okay, so once you're done getting the switch IP address and you have the port number as well, the next step is to access the switch. We do this by using PuTTY, one of the tools that we can use to access devices. So if you have PuTTY, you just type in the host name or the IP address of the switch and make sure it's on port 22 or SSH. Okay, so for example, we have this situation here. This is our network. We have this different PCs in here. We have a laptop. So for example, 
we want to change the VLAN for the PC3 because it's on a different VLAN as this PC4. So just to show you that it's on a different VLAN, I'm going to ping PC4 in here. Okay, so ping the IP address here, 192.168.12.2, and this should fail or we shouldn't be able to reach this PC4 because it's not on the same VLAN as PC3. So they are not able to communicate. So what we want to do is to put them on the same VLAN so we could communicate, so they could communicate with each other and they could get the same traffic. So now it timed out because they're not on the same VLAN. So I'm just showing you that it's on a different VLAN. So what we want to do is to access it with putty for example okay so the first thing that we will do is to putty in and access our switch so we just open putty and type in the host name or the ip address of the switch and once you're in your switch okay so for example you're in the switch now you have access to switch through putty it depends on the company how you manage your switch but if you see this prompt in here with the greater than sign you have to type in enable or en for short and usually it will ask you for a password because uh, we want to secure our switches and then after that you are going to see a prompt in here with a pound sign in here so we have to type in here configure terminal so we can get into the interface mode and we can configure and do the configuration commands and make changes after typing that you're gonna see the prompt change and it should have config now which means that we are in configuration mode now and after that when you type in that now we can specify the interface that we want to change or uh, configure so earlier in the tool we got the port number so that's what we're gonna type after the word interface or the command interface in here or int for short, that's how we usually just type it at work. So int or interface and then the port number. So that's what the port number that we got from our uh, LDWIN or our Lynx printer tool. So for example, it gave us the FA0 slash one command uh, interface or port number. That's what we should type in here. So it depends on what kind of switch you have. Some switches have uh, pass ethernet or gig so this will not always be fa sometimes it will be gi which means it's a gigabit port so sometimes it will be fa for fast ethernet so it just depends on the switch but you have to use whatever the, the tool gave you so after entering this or pressing enter you should now be on the interface mode so we can now make changes and configuration to that specific port that we want to change and as you can see, the port in here changed. Now it has a dash IF after the config. So it means that you are in the correct mode and you can now make the configurations. But before we change the VLAN, let us check first what VLAN PC3 is on. Because earlier we can't communicate to this other PC, PC4. So let's check what VLAN uh, PC, uh, PC4 is and what VLAN PC3 is. So we can exit in this mode because we want to run our show commands. So show commands is what we use to like verify configurations, for example. So we can also do end in here and we are going to end up in this prompt in here where we can run show commands. So show VLAN is how we can see what VLANs we have and what ports are assigned to a certain VLAN. So if you type in show VLAN, you should be able to see all the VLANs that were created for this switch and all of the ports that were assigned to that specific VLAN. Okay, so the first port in here is on VLAN 3, which is accounting VLAN and this PC4, VLAN 2 in here. So they are different and we want to change this first port into VLAN 2. So that's the next command that we should be doing in here. So I would just want to show you that uh, you can also verify if they're on different ports or for example, you want to know what port or what VLAN this uh, 
port is assigned to. So that's how you can check. Okay, so now let's go back to our commands. So just a refresher, the next command that we should type is conf t, or that's short for configured terminal. And then we are now in configuration mode. We should type in the port number by typing in interface first and then fa0 slash 1 because that's the port that we want to change in here. And that's the port that was given to us by our tool. So once we are in the interface mode, we can now change the VLAN. So the command for that is switch port, switch port. So you can type in switch port or you can press tab and it will just auto fill for you. And then next is space access, then space VLAN, space the VLAN that you want to change it to. So for in here, we want to change it to VLAN 2 because it's currently on VLAN 3 in here. Okay, so you can just type in 2 in here and if you press enter, nothing happens. If nothing happens, that's a good thing in here. It means that we have a correct command. So for example, you type in the wrong command. You will know because there will be an error message that will show up in here like invalid input. That means it's the wrong syntax. So if you type in VLAN 2 in here, it means that it's correct. So now we can verify if we have made a change in here. So we can do the exit. You can type an exit in here to go back to our prompt earlier to run the command or in the workplace, we can force it on this prompt by just typing it do before any show commands and you are going to be able to just run the command on any modes or prompts. So do show VLAN in here because I'm forcing it on this interface. Otherwise, if I just type in show VLAN in here, it will just show, give me an error message because I have to be on the correct prompt. If I do a show, do show VLAN, it will just force to run the command and I will be able to run it on any interface. Okay, so now I can see the different VLANs in here and we have to find FA1, our port 1. So now it's here, as you can see, it's no longer on VLAN 3, nothing is assigned there anymore, and now it's on VLAN 2. That means that our command worked, and now we have changed the VLAN. So it's very important also to save all of your commands, all of your configuration, because once the switch reboots, if you haven't saved anything that you have configured, it will not update on the configuration of the switch. So you have to explicitly save every command that you have or changes that you have to be safe, just in case the switch reboots, at least your configuration is still there. Okay, so how do we save our configuration? So the traditional and the conventional way of doing it is to go back to your prompt in here. The prompt with the pound sign or what we call the privileged executive mode in Cisco. So this is where we can view or change our configurations. So the show commands can run in this prompt or the save command. So how do we save? Um, so how do we save configuration? Once you made a change, just do a copy, copy run tab, and it will autofill copy running config and then start tab. So that means that you are copying your current configuration to the startup configuration. So that is like the save command for Cisco. After pressing enter, just uh, press another enter on this and it should save your configurations. So there is also an older way of saving and that's what we actually use. So I personally use this uh, command instead of copy run start. So write memory or WRMEM, which uh, is short for write memory, also works. So it also does the same thing. It's just a shorter and older, so much older command. 
So if you're studying for your CCNA certification, they want you to know the copy running config, startup config, and the certification. But in the actual workplace, the write memory uh, command still works. So what I just do most of the time is to just type in WRMEM, and it should work the same as copy start, copy run start. Okay. So for example, you can also use the do command or to force it, to force to save it. For example, I'm going to type in conf t in here again and then and fa0 slash 1, for example. And in this mode or in this prompt, in the interface mode in here, for example, I will try to do the copy run start it will give me an error message because it just wants me to run in the privilege exact mode. But if I force it and type in do in front of it, it will just force to run the command and I can do it on this interface as well. Same with the write memory. When you type in do write mem for example, same it will still run the command. So, so that's it for uh, changing VLANs. It's pretty simple as long as you know what you're doing. So it's not a lot of commands, it's just a few commands that you will be typing over and over. Okay, so now let's verify if this PC can now communicate with PC4 because earlier when you tried to ping it, it's unreachable. So let's just go to this computer and just do a ping. Okay, ping this computer in here and as you can see it is now reachable because they are on the same basically on the same network now and should be receiving the same traffic and can communicate with each other so that's also a way to verify if you the, the configuration worked if you're able to communicate with like a device on that same VLAN okay so just a review in here so the Cisco commands to change the VLAN is configure terminal if you're in the privilege exact mode the interface with the port number depends on what port number you have and once you're in the interface mode just type in switch port access VLAN and the VLAN number you want to change it to so we basically have like three commands in here to change VLAN on Cisco devices or Cisco switch. Okay, so next is to verify if the VLAN was changed. We can just run the show VLAN command or if you are in a different interface, you can do a, you can force it and type in do space show space VLAN and it will show you all the VLANs that you have and the ports assigned to it. And to save everything, you can also use the command copy run start or write memory.